Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna learn how to solve this definite integral from the MIT exam. Right, we have two methods to approach this problem. The first method, I'm gonna use this formula. So in order to use this formula, we need to use substitution method first. I'm gonna let t equal Psi s minus cosine s. Now I'm going to take derivative both sides. So it turns out to be dt equals psi s plus cosine s ds. Alright, from this one, I'm going to square both sides. So it turns out to be t squared equals sine square s plus cosine square s minus 2 sine s cosine s. Now, sine square plus cosine square is going to be 1. Now, 2 psi s cosine s, it could be size 2 s, so it could be minus sine 2 s. So it's going to be sine 2 s equal 1 minus t square. Alright, now I need to change the bounds. So the upper bound and lower bounds for s is going to be 0 and pi over 4. This is s equal. Now it turns out to be t equals. When s equals 0, you substitute over here. Okay, sine 0 equals 0, cosine 0 equals 1. So it could be negative 1. So t equals negative 1 right here. Now, s equal pi over 4. Substitute over here, sine pi over 4 is going to be root 2 over 2. Cosine pi over 4 is going to be root 2 over 2. So root 2 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 is going to be 0. So t equal 0. Okay. Alright, so let this one be i. Alright, so i equal the integral from negative 1 to 0 of the top right here sine s co plus cosine s ds right here it turns out to be dt right here so I have dt on the top alright the bottom sine 2s it's going to be 1 minus t squared. Alright, so I have 9 plus 16 parentheses times 1 minus t squared. Alright, so now I'm going to simplify the integral from negative 1 to 0 dt. 25 minus 16 t square. Now 16 t square I can rewrite this one as 4 t's all together square. Now here's the thing. We want to apply this formula. So we observe that in order to apply this formula we have du's and this is must be u and this is du. Now this is dt and we, we have u squared right here. Now, we need to make the top right here should be 4t. It's not t. It should be 4t in order to apply this formula. Alright. So, how do we do that? First, we need to rewrite 25 as 5 squared. Right. Now, next, we need to write this one as d4t. Alright, so we take the derivative of 4t is going to be 4. So basically, we just 
boot for on the top, the bottom must be for right here. When you multiply the top by 4, you need to divide by 4. Okay. Now, we apply this formula right here. So, it turns out to be 1 over 4. Alright. This guy right here, it turns out to be 1 over 2a. But a equal 5. So, it's going to be 1 over 2 times 5. It's going to be 10. Alright. Natural log of absolute value of u plus a, u which means 40, so 40 plus 5 over 40 minus 5. This guy will be evaluated from negative 1 to 0. Alright, now 1, 4 times 1, 10, this could be 1, 40. 0 substitute over here, this is 0, this is 0, we have natural log of 5 divided by negative 5, which means negative 1, absolute value of negative 1 is going to be 1, natural log of 1 is going to be 0, so we don't need to worry about this guy, now, so we have 0 minus, so the top should be absolute value of 1, the bottom should be negative 9. Alright, close parenthesis equals 1 over 40. Now, this one, 0 minus this one, so it's going to be negative natural log of 1 over 9. Alright, equals negative 1 over 40. Parenthesis natural log of 1 minus natural log of 9. Natural log of 1 equals 0. So th this guy turns out to be negative of natural log of 9. So negative and negative turns out to be positive. So the answer right here is going to be natural log of 9 over 40. Now we need to simplify this one. It turns out to be natural log of 3 square over 40. Now, 2 bring to the front. And then simplify this one. The answer must be natural log of 3 over 20. And this is the final answer. Alright, so let's move on to the second method. Second method, we still use this formula, but we're going to solve this problem directly. We don't need to do substitution. Alright, so let's rewrite this problem. The integral from 0 to pi over 4 sine s plus cosine s over 9 plus sitting sine 2s ds alright so it's gonna be equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 4 d sine s minus cosine s over 9 plus sitting sine 2s, we just rewrite it as 1 minus sine s minus cosine s square. Alright. Look, derivative of sine is going to be cosine. Derivative of cosine is going to be negative side, so it, could, it turned out to be side plus cosine right here. Alright, so next is going to be the integral from 0 to pi over 4. d sine s minus cosine s over 25 minus 16 parenthesis 
cosine s minus cosine s all together square. Now, next, we want to apply this formula. We need to divide the top and bottom by 16. So, if I divide the top by 16, it turns out to be 1 over 16 right here. Alright, the bottom right here, it turns out to be 16 right here. And this guy turns out to be 1. Alright. So then I have, now look at this formula right here, 1 over a square minus u square. Alright. So a square, which means 25 over 16. u square, which means sine s minus cosine s square. And du, du, this will mean this one. Alright. So we're going to apply this formula. It's going to be 1 over 2a. So it's going to be equals 1 over 16 times 1 over 2a. 1 over 2a. But a in this situation is going to be 5 over 4. So it could be 2 times 5 over 4. Alright. Now to lock off u plus a. u in this situation it could be sine s minus cosine s plus a which means plus 5 over 4 over sine s minus cosine s minus 5 over 4. Alright. Evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Alright, now we're going to simplify. This is 2 times 5. It's going to be 10. Now, 16 and 4 right here cancel out. We have 4 left right here. So, it's 4 times 10. It could be 1 over 40. 1 over 40 right here. Alright, now pi over 4 substitute over here. Psi pi over 4 minus cosine pi over 4 is going to be 0. Alright. So for this one, it's going to be 0. Now substitute this one. So it turns out to be minus. Now 0, you're going to substitute over here. Psi 0 is going to be 0. Cosine 0 is going to be 1. So it's going to be 5 over 4 minus 1. So it's going to be natural log of 5 over 4 minus 1 over psi 0 equal 0 cos 0 equal negative 1 so it could be negative 5 over 4 minus 1 all right so it's going to be 1 over 40 parenthesis negative natural log up the top right here it should be 1 the bottom right here, it should be negative 9. Alright, so it's going to be 1 over 40 times natural log of 9. Alright, so it turns out to be natural log of 3 over 20. And it's a good time to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that. If you fail in to prepare, you're repairing to fail. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine.